Hi everybody, today is my fifth and final segment about Alsace and so I thought I would talk about one of the four noble grapes. So I'm going to be talking about Pinot Gris. So Pinot Gris, um, it is actually a worldwide grape because depending on where it's planted it might just have a slightly different name but it is always the same grape so for example Pinot Grigio in Italy um, in the north of Italy is actually the same variety they just give it the Italian name of Pinot Grigio instead of Pinot Gris. Also in Germany they have Pinot Gris and they call it uh, Grauburgunder. So um, it is not just uh, a grape that you find in Alsace, but it does grow very well in Alsace. And um, the reason it does so well in Alsace is because as a grape variety, it does really, really well in warm soils. So any heat retaining soils and it loves dry climates as well. So that's something you have a lot of in Alsace due to the rain shadow of the Vosges mountains. It's a very dry climate. In fact, it's pretty much the driest climate in France. Um, so it's one of the four noble grapes because it has a great expression in that terroir. Um, the kind of wine that you would get from Alsace that's made from Pinot Gris would be a really rich, oily textured wine with tropical fruit flavours and maybe even some ginger spice and honey as well, depending on the ripeness and depending on the specific vineyards, you could get even more complexity. That's a little bit different to Pinot Grigio from Italy, where you would still get uh, fruity notes, but it might not be tropical. It might be more like apple and pear and citrus. So that's something to think about if you're looking to buy a Pinot Gris from the New World, because sometimes in the New World, like Australia and California and other parts of America, even Oregon, where they do have Pinot Gris, Depending on the uh, finished wine and what it most resembles, whether it, it has more in common with Pinot Grigio or Pinot Gris, um, that will determine what they label it as. So if it demonstrates more of those tropical qualities that we've mentioned about the Alsace Pinot Gris, you might see it labelled as Pinot Gris, whereas if it's a little bit lighter and crisper and has more of those apple pear notes, they might decide to call it a Pinot Grigio. But just remember that the two things are not separate. It's the same um, single entity. It's the same grape variety. Um, so look out for any Alsace Pinot Gris on your, in your local market and try it. If you've never tried it, I really recommend it. All right. Have a good weekend, guys. Bye.